In this video, we will see uh, how we can create a app in CRM analytics and then how we can create a lens uh, from a data set. So lens is basically to visualize data in a data set and lens is used to explore data graphically and build queries for the dashboard. So basically, if we want to uh, know data more about the data set which we have created uh, then we can explore it using lenses and uh, apps are the things or apps are uh, apps we create to organize each and everything which we have created in crm and analytics uh, crm analytics so for an example if we have created two three uh, data sets which are related to some particular functionality or particular business use case then we can have an app and in that particular app we can have that data sets and uh, the lenses we can have in the same app then we can have multiple recipes oh uh, sorry yeah multiple recipes in the same data set and then we can have but the dashboards related to that particular functionality in the app so if we go to that particular app we can see all the things like the data sets uh, the lenses and then the dashboards which we have created so let's start so first we have to go to analytics studio then we have to just click on browse and then once you click on the browse you you can see you will uh, you will see all the components which are there like all items if, if you if you are on all items all the items will be there you can filter them on this and then you can type the name if you know and uh, if you go to apps you will see all the apps which are created all the dashboards which are created all the lenses which are created and all the data sets which are which are created uh, in this particular crm analytics so if you see the location is my dtc sales then there is sales set then is there is my private app so my private app will be a default uh, default app th that will be created for for your work which you are doing so that particular folder will be yours and if you don't share that particular thing uh, or if you don't want to share that particular data set with others then it should be in your uh, private app if you want to share it with others then you can create uh, the app and then you can share that app accordingly so for this example for an we will hit create and then we will just hit app and then we can create a template app if you want there will be template shown and According to that, you can choose one of that. Uh, if you want to create a blank app, then you can just create, uh, click on that blank app and then you have to hit continue the name of the app. Testing if you give and then you hit create. So a testing app will be created. And in the testing app, how many data sets, how many dashboards, how many lenses you have created, you can see that. So if you want to create a dashboard a component model data set or a template then you can create that and for an example we want to create lens so there is no there is no lens in this and now i will go to a particular so i will just so this is the app which i have created recently then I will just go to a data set because we can create a lens from a data set only. So these are the assets which we have. So there are multiple data sets. So first of all, I will choose this TTC opportunity. Once you go to this particular data set, then you have a lens which will be used, which which is a visualization approach, of which you will uh, which showcase uh, or which is a visual representation of that particular data set then you can explore it more so for an example if i go to this so it will show us the whole fields which we have in that particular data set then these are the dimensions the text type fields majorly the major fields then we have date fields so these are all the date fields which we have in the system uh, on that particular objects and then these are the major fields which can be major which can which will be of a number type data type then we have dimension fields it will be a big list and it will be uh, all the text fields which we have then if you go to this settings then if you want uh, there can be chance like you you can have two name fields but their field na uh, field api name will be unique and you are not very sure like which field to choose from then you can 
uh, click on this show field api name so API name will be showcased and accordingly you can choose that field so i will close it out and now this is the bar length so bar length as of now is count so i will click sum of amounts so the total sum of amount is 764 millions and in, in that if you want to add bars so in bar we can have multiple things like for an example i want to showcase the industries which are there then in agriculture industry this is the value in the same manner so in the same manner if i add more filter to it for an example that is family so what product family they relates to so industries agriculture and that there are multiple product families and then this is uh, the value of a particular product family in that particular industry so that's how you can explore more uh, about the data set in this uh, going beyond uh, oh, means like scrolling down we have a query limit it will be 2000 by default it will be set to, set to 2000 uh, to limit the number of results shown enter a number from 1 to 25000 if you enter nothing we apply the default value that is 2000 uh, then we have create model then we have clip to designer present view and then uh, if you want to subscribe this to uh, to send it to another users then you can you do that once you have shared uh, once you have saved this then uh, you have add to collection select a dashboard view or current view where you want to save it uh, then we have option if you want to share this particular uh, lens with other users uh, as a chatter feed or that option will showcase here okay there is a network issue okay yeah so if you want to download then you can click on download and if you want to post it to a group of users then you can select group if you want to post it to a particular user then you can post it with a comment and this screenshot will be attached when they click on this they will land in this page then we save this this because you can have it so now this is my private app and then testing i have saved this so this will be saved in the testing app so once this uh, lens is saved so now if i go back to the apps and the app recently i have created is testing and once i click on the lenses which are there then this is the testing lens which i have recently created if you want to make any change you can change it if you want to add any, uh, the chart in different format you can use this charts uh, so this is all the options the formatting one uh, the history change log will be there in this then the formatting will be there and then there will be chart if you want like if you want it to be in a stacked format then you can use this and this will be in this format you have to hit save button then it will be saved in this format so now i have changed it to this now if you go to the history if you if you will go to history you will see a uh, initial view was view was this and now the current view the updated chart is like this so in this manner the history is captured in this so that's all about how you can create an app how you can uh, explore more about a data set or how you can visualize a data set using lenses so uh, that's all thank you